space, final frontier. These are the voyages of the USS Switchheads on its continuing mission to seek out great games at great prices. To boldly go where no other games channel has gone before. This is Kanan, and welcome back to the home of cheap gaming. For too long, the Phasmids have been causing trouble in our peaceful little corner of space. But not any longer. Well, hello there, all you switchheads out there, and thank you to all my new subs. And on with Space Crew. Well, Space Crew is a sequel, believe it or not, to the wonderful game of Bomber Crew, which is basically kind of like this game, but set in a World War II setting where you are tasked with bombing targets, obviously, and gathering intel, and also fighting off waves of enemies. Whereas Space Crew is set way, 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 way into the future. In fact, 2152, a bit optimistic that. But basically, you take control of a spaceship and their crew. And this time you'll be tasked with bounty hunting missions, rescue missions, repair missions, and also taking on a nasty alien force that are just itching to have their asses kicked. Now these battles can happen in space, spacecraft to spacecraft, or they can actually board your ship, which is pretty cool if you think about it, because most other games don't let you do that. And so the game will set you back $17.99 and it's published by Curve Digital. And with all that out of the way, let's hit up the gameplay and see what we've got here. And so the game starts you off with a nice little tutorial that helps you find your feet and the controls of which there are many. And getting used to these takes a little bit of time. And as for your crew, well, they're all upgradable. Leveling up sees new skills that will help you fight off the alien hordes and also get you past any of those other missions. Although I will say that if a crew member dies, then it's permadeath. They're gone, out of fear, never coming back. Never gonna come back. And likewise, if you have a very unsuccessful mission and you end up killing uh, all your crew off, you can actually go and buy them back. But unfortunately, with recruiting new crew, you have to start leveling them all up again from scratch, which is why it's almost vital to try and keep hold of the crew that you started with. Or at least the crew members that you like anyway. You can buy them all upgrades in the form of uniforms and these uniforms have different attributes. The ship can also be upgraded in many different ways. You can even change the colour and all sorts on, on the ship. Add logos and yes, that all important change name. Now I'm just wondering how many people did what I did and changed the name to USS Enterprise. Leave that down in the comment. I want to know what you all have called your ships. And I will also say that all of this is handled very well and it, it flows very well as well. This is all managed from a space station that kind of acts as a hub with many different features within it. As I said, you've got the buying crew, you've got the crew upgrades, also the ship upgrades. A like 10 forward area which gives you information about your actual um, missions you know how many people have died and things like that and trust me it may look low now but you're gonna have loads and loads of people die on you you got your mission briefing where you can look up all these different missions and take on like bounties as well and while you're on these missions, you have to manage your crew and the ship at the same time. The crew won't do anything unless you tell them to. And trust me, there are many things you'll be doing as you're going along. For instance, putting fires out, assigning people to turrets so that you can fight back at the enemies, plotting courses. And you'll also be tagging the ships as if you don't, they don't get fired upon. And yes, you get to press that pretty little button that says engage. Engage. The ship, on the other hand, you can assign power to different areas of the ship. I.e. 
if you're in combat you can take some power from engines and the gravity and put them into weapons and shields therefore heightening your chance of doing more damage and taking more damage again all of it seems to work well i haven't really had that many issues but then again it's not really a hugely fast-paced game in in a lot of ways as mentioned before the controls can be fiddly to start with just like the first game but trust me give yourself time with it let yourself adjust to the many different things you can do and in the end it will click and just flow i can see this maybe putting some people off but trust me let it flow looks wise i think it looks pretty nice it's all kind of tongue and cheek so it's not taking itself very seriously which is a good thing really sometimes there's a hell of a lot happening on the screen and sometimes it's difficult to see what's going on but i think it's handled in a you know appropriate way and never really hurts the gameplay as for the sound well that too is handled quite well the only thing i don't like is the fact that there's no speech instead you get this well weird speak type thing which doesn't again deter you from the gameplay but i think this would have elevated so much if they just added speech to it it's just a little niggling to me that you know they could have just added that in and it would have just heightened the gameplay especially the fun voices they could have added to it all the other noises again a lot of tongue and cheek and keeping it all fun and so I rate games on a 1 to 5 rating and I'm going to give Space Crew a 4 out of 5. Now I can see this dropping points if you're not really into the subject matter or you simply can't get used to the controls. But as a massive Star Trek fan I felt at home here and it itched a scratch that is very rarely seen in games nowadays, especially on the Switch. I'll say it can get a little bit repetitive after a while, but I played it for a fair old chunk of a of a time and I can see me just falling back and maybe playing it in chunks, little chunks, you know, a mission here, a mission there, just to scratch that Star Trek itch. So what do you think? Are you going to get Space Crew or are you going to leave it? Are you going to get the first one as well or have you got it already? Let me know down in the comments what you think of either of the games because they're both pretty damn good and well worth getting. If you like the one, you'll probably like the other and vice versa. And don't forget, maybe you can go the extra frontier and hit that like and subscribe button for me. My name's Camden and remember, keep it cheap, keep it switch heads.